father is beside himself. Well, I'm pretty psyched to get out of here, too. Home. My family. I can't wait. And thank you, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. What did I do? <laughs> you supported my dad. You started the website. So if you ever need a favor, just... Actually... Oh, you're trying to collect already. <laughs> I would love to do an article on you for Tempo, about your illness, your recovery, how the bone marrow donation saved your life. Seriously? Oh, you know, it's such a remarkable story. It, it brings awareness and hopefully inspires people to donate. You are an inspiration. And, you know, I understand if there's any reluctance because of your feelings toward Annie, but I think it's a story worth telling, and I would be so honored to be the one to tell it. If it means building up the National Donor Registry or, or giving someone with cancer strength to hold on, hell yeah. I say we do it. Fantastic. Now, you do know that Annie will be heavily featured. As she should. I know how I felt about her personally, but Annie did save my life. So it looks like you've rounded a corner. I didn't really have much of a choice. When you come that close to dying, you kind of reprioritize your life. All right, listen, I need to get going. I need to round up a photographer for your homecoming. <laughs> so, I'll see you all back at the mansion. Okay. See, you. see you. All right, bye-bye. <clears throat> we need to talk. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. Shall we? I have some exciting news. Tempo is going to do an article on J.R. about his struggle with lymphoma and how a bone marrow transplant saved his life. Hmm. Bone marrow donated by me. Yes, well, I got J.R.'s okay, so I just need yours. Fine. Well, J.R. wouldn't be alive if it weren't for you, Annie. You know, you are a huge piece of this article. Really? Yes. And with your permission, I would like to put you on the cover. <sighs> Of the magazine? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Adam, did you hear that? I did, yes. <laughs> and thank you for all the gifts you've given our family and uh, are continuing to give. I'm not sure I know how I'm going to repay you. So there was something you wanted to talk to me about? Uh, no, nothing. It's, it's really nothing. I can't wait. Are you sure? Yes, your news is much more interesting. Uh, are you sure you don't want to thank Brooke for this opportunity? Oh, that's totally unnecessary, really. Hmm. Well, thank you, Brooke. It's it's very kind. Annie, I'm just writing the story. You're the one that made it happen. Anyway, I need to call the photographer. Make sure he's close. We don't want to miss Jr. walking through the door. Now, do we? Oh. Well, it's a wonderful thing Brooke's doing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if only everyone could be that uh, thoughtful and. Uh, Selfless, but this house would be a much kinder place if it was. <laughs> okay, everybody, they're coming. <laughs> hey. Uh, oh, I am so glad you are home. Mm. And you won't believe what I just found out. Welcome home. Welcome home, sir. Oh, thanks. All of you, every one of you. I, did, I can't tell you how it warms my heart to see you. Yeah, well, it's good to be home, too. Yeah. What? No hug from the woman who saved my life? <laughs>